All right, so here is our next problem. Uh, you are given n football teams, and I want you. To, I want to find the best and the second best team. So the way we the way to compare two teams is by making them play, right? And our objective here is to figure out this using as less number of games as possible. Okay, so what is the simplest solution? To find the best, what we can do is, you know, pick a team, make him make, make that team play with the next team, find the winner, throw the loser, right? So make the winner play with another team, choose the winner, throw the loser, etc. etc. At the end, we will find the best. So the number of comparisons or the number of games uh, is n minus 1. Right? So at the end of n minus 1 games, we are going to find the best and all the remaining n minus 1 losers. To find the second best, what we can do is find the best among the losers. And if you use the same strategy, it is going to cost you n minus 1 minus 1 games. So in total, to find the best and the second best, you will need 2n minus 3, which is roughly 2n games. And our objective here is to figure this out in time better than, or in, 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 uh, in, uh, in number better than 2n. Uh, again, if you have not seen this question before, uh, you know, pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to give out the solution and we're going to use a strategy called tournament strategy. So exactly as the name suggests, uh, we're going to make them play in the form of a tournament. So this is just for the illustration purpose. So imagine that these numbers kind of shows you how good the team is. Uh, and I want to find the best, right? And the only way to figure out uh, who is best, uh, we have to compare them or we have to make them play. So first, take the first pair, make them play, find the winner. So here the winner is 5. Make the next two guys play, find the winner, 7, 9, Four. Right? This is the first round. In the second round, pick these two winners, make them play, bump up the winner. Same thing here. And in the last round, you get nine. And nine is going to be the winner. And if you want to see how many games we have played to figure out the best see to go from here to here we have to make how many games we have to play actually n over 2 games right so at this step to get these these second round of candidates we need to do n over 2 games to go to the next level, we need to make n over 4, n over 8, etc, etc. The last round is going to be just one game, the final round. So the total number of games is going to be n over 2 plus n over 4 plus n over 8 plus half plus 1. And how to sum this up? I can take n outside, then this is going to be half is going to be half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus etc etc. And if you remember this sum, half, 1 fourth, 1 eight, etc. This is bounded by 1. 
So exactly, this is going to be bounded by n. Okay. So nothing interesting as of now. I mean, here also we have to spend n. Here also it is n. Good. Now the advantage here is to find the second best. We don't really need to spend n. Okay. So the logic here is something like this. So in this example, you can see that. 9 is the best and 9 came through this route 9 came through this route this is a path of 9 so the second best guy is somewhere here right the second best guy is somewhere here and what we know is at least at some point in time the second guy must have played with the best and got defeated, right? Right? So the second guy, the second guy must have played with the first guy and got defeated at some point in time. Now, if you look at all the people with whom or all the teams with whom nine has played, and 9 has defeated, you can see that 9 has played with this guy, 9 has played with this guy, and 9 has played with this guy. Right? So the second best must be one among these three candidates. So what I can do is just collect these candidates and choose the best among them or make them play right the question is how many such candidates are going to be there what you can see see here is those candidates are exactly the nodes which are hanging from the path of nine and there is exactly one candidate at each level that means the number of candidates is exactly equal to the number of levels right and what is the number of levels here so you have a number n at the bottom you are dividing n with 2 you are dividing n over 2 again with 2 etc 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 so the height of this tree is exactly so this is going to be the height of the tree. So suppose h is the height of the tree. What we know is n divided by 2 raised to h. So each time we are dividing, we get 1 for h is equal to log n. So log is to the base 2. So remember that in computer science, Whenever we say log, it is going to be log to the base 2. If the base is something else, we will usually specify that. So the height of the tree is log n. That means we can find the second best team by making these log n teams play. Right? So to find the second best, instead of n minus 1, we can do now in just log n minus 1 uh, yeah in just log n minus 1 so that means the total time complexity or the total number of games is going to be n plus log of n right so n plus log of n which is much better than 2n right so essentially we we kind of replaced an n with log n